y'all. Welcome back. This is Michelle from Michelle's Empty Nest, and today I am participating in a YouTube hop with Anna, who is Peace Craft Love, here on YouTube and over on Instagram, and she is celebrating her 500 subscribers here on YouTube with this hop and a giveaway to her shop. So all of those details will be linked down below in the description box along with everyone else who's playing along. So make sure you check them out as well. I know the giveaway is for a $25 gift certificate to her shop. Peace Craft Love is also the name of her shop. And so make sure you check out everything down below to find out all the details. Now for the hop, we are, she picked five things that we are to try to incorporate into a layout. So the five things were texture paste. So I have some opaque matte texture paste, um, a stencil. I have one, I'm pretty sure this is Paige Evans with hearts, different shaped hearts. Yes, from Paige Evans. Coffee, so my photo has a picture of a recent um, coffee from Starbucks. And then we were to use the color uh, teal or some shade of blue. And so I do have some teal and I also have some blue. And the fifth thing is a squirrel. <laughs> and y'all, I looked and looked, I don't even have a squirrel in my stash that I could find. I couldn't find wood veneer, um, any kind of ephemera piece, anything. So unfortunately, I'm only gonna be able to do four of the things, but I think it will still count. So. What I'm gonna do is put you on fast forward. Well, let me tell you what else I've got here first since we already went through some of it. Um, I also have this Ladybug Red paint. It's from the Handmade Modern line that they used to carry at Target. I have a piece of Basil Avalanche White cardstock to be uh, my main background. And then these two pieces are from Close to My Heart and the one that I'm going to use as a frame is from Blue Skies, and um, I don't think it actually has a name, but I'm going to use this side, I think, as a frame to tie in that uh, teal that we were supposed to try to use. And then this is a partial page left from um, Close to My Heart. I think they called it a UV treated paper. I don't know if you can see but there's a little bit of a pattern that's shiny. And I think I'm gonna use that to map my photo to try to tie the blue in to the rest of my layout as well, since red and this tan color are the most prominent colors in there. I do have a little blue back there in the back of my photo, so I think we can make it work. So I'm gonna go ahead and get you put on fast forward and we'll get this one put together. So let's do it. Okay, I am going to start off by trimming down my uh, main background paper and I trimmed it to 11 by 11 so I'll have a half inch border all the way around and then I am going to eventually gut that paper, the Blue Skies paper that has the floral on one side and the geometric on the other. I will eventually gut that out. I think I did it at about nine and a half or ten just to give me, um, I wanted to save some of that paper but I also wanted it to have as much doubled up area as possible because these aren't really thick papers and I do like my um, layouts to have a little weight or heft to them. I don't like them to be real flimsy for some reason. It's just a quirk but it's it's something that I like. Um, so you saw me take some of that texture paste from Ranger and as I said, it's an opaque matte, so it's not going to be shiny. Um, and then I have that Paige Evans stencil, and I just mixed in a little bit of paint to get it. Um, I was trying to get it pretty close to the red in the collection, the Blue Skies collection. And I think I, I got it pretty close. This Ladybug red paint was a, a pretty close um, match for that and you can use paint you can use ink you can use any kind of color that you've got you can mix in with this texture paste and um, make it match your layout now you see i have a little red spot there where some of the texture paste got outside of the stencil area but i did use my sand eraser and i was able to get all of it off so you can't even see it anymore I decided I wanted a little bit more separation between the hearts and the white paper 
And then between the busy background, I just felt like there needed to be a little bit of grounding there or something going on differently than what was happening. So I decided to use this blue paper, um, not only as a mat, but also kind of as a, a band of paper. But you see, I did strategically cut my mat out of the middle of the paper and kind of left a C looking shape, like the letter C, um, so that you know, you wouldn't be able to tell that I had cut my mat out of the middle of that blue paper. It just looks like a solid band. So I did distress the edges of the blue paper that I put onto the background because I knew I was going to distress the layer behind my photo. So I wanted to go ahead and distress the other one just to give it a little more texture and, and um, I don't know, just a little pizzazz on the edges there, I guess. So um, I went to my sewing machine and stitched around the outside of the white paper, the basil cardstock, um, with gold thread. It's a gold shiny thread. And I, I didn't have any embellishments for this um, particular collection. So that's one of the reason why reasons why I chose to do a border. Um, and kind of a busy border just to give the layout something to be interesting to the eye since I didn't have much to play with. Um, but I did decide to pull over some doilies. I rarely ever use doilies on my layouts, but I have quite a little collection of them. And so I decided to use a shiny gold one to kind of tie in with the thread and a white one just to give it some layers over there. And I am going to pull in um, that piece of paper that I gutted out of the middle of the Blue Skies paper. I am going to use my We Are Memory Keepers tab punch and punch a little tab out of it. And I kind of went back and forth on whether or not I was going to use the floral side or the geometric side. And I did decide to use the floral just to give it a little bit of a different pattern there. I thought the, the geometric side was a little bit too much. So once I get it in place, after I drop it one time, um, I'm going to take some foam squares. And I use the Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L. These are my favorite. They come in small, large, square, round, black, white. You can get multi-packs. You can get all of one kind in you know one pack. And I just love them. They're perfect. They also come in thick and thin. So there's all kinds of different varieties there. So um, I decided to pull over my thickers and pick out a title or something that I was going to use for my title. I knew I wanted to say a cup of joy, kind of a play on words with a cup of joe. Um, and I went between the Fitzgerald, which I think might be a um, Chamel thicker. I'm not sure. It was before my time of scrapbooking, but um, I have the thickers anyway, and they're, they're called Fitzgerald, or these that were from Recollections. And I decided that these matched a little better and that they would take up a lot more space. And again, I didn't have any embellishments, so I needed my title to kind of have a presence there. So I got that in place, a cup of joy, and then I'm going to get a label and on, uh, the label came from, I'm pretty sure it's from Illustrated Faith, and it, they're printable, and you can just print out as many as you want. Sometimes I even change the colors of them and print them out because it's just for my personal use. And on it, I'm going to write my journaling, which is a venti ice caramel macchiato, please. And I'm going to put it down there under a cup of, jo a, a cup of joy. So I pulled over my little drawer of... Um, enamel dots and I found some that matched the teal fairly well in from simple stories and then two different packs from Alta New that matched with the red and the blue the red came from tea party and the blue came from glacier caves and the simple stories was um apron strings so that must have been some kind of home or kitchen collection that that one came from and I did put those around in three places um, just to give a little bit more interest and draw your eye around the layout. So there's the label that I was talking about. And I'm going to do my date stamp and that will finish me up for today. And I'll be back to talk to you in just a second. Okay, I'm going to call this one good right here. Uh, it definitely meets four of those criteria for the top five that Anna set for us um, on this YouTube hop. I've got the texture paste, I've got the stencil, 
I've got the coffee, I've got the teal or blue, um, just could not manage the squirrel. As I mentioned earlier, I just could not even find one in my stash. So um, yeah, I evidently am not a squirrel person. <laughs> um, so I do like how it came out with the little pops of gold. Um, I think that just kind of spiced it up a little bit. I don't normally do bands of paper, but I thought this one kind of needed a little more separation from the white and the hearts around the border. So that's why I put that blue there. Um, but yeah, I'm pleased with how it turned out. Just documenting a simple little cup of coffee that brings me joy every time I have it for sure. So if you enjoyed this video, I would love a thumbs up down below. And I so appreciate you stopping by today. It means more to me than you will ever, ever know. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to do that as well. And I'd also love for you to follow me over on Instagram where I share a lot of things that never make their way over here to YouTube. So until I see you in the next video, take care of yourself, do something good for yourself, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.